Caddis Maximus here, this time with a quick little review of a classic set of Husky fractional six point half inch drive deep well chrome sockets. All these words, 10 pieces actually happens to be the general standard for half inch drive fractional. We're going from this particular set, we happen to go from and let me actually correct myself. This set happens to be missing the 5 8s. So I believe this was an 11 piece set because it starts out at 3 8 Where this Master Mechanic set I got at True Value a few years ago actually starts out at 7 16 and is a 10 piece set. So otherwise, it would have been a 3 8 through 1 inch by 16 This set happens to be missing the 5 8 And initially, I was kind of stoked because these are the classic Husky USAs. But, you know, as I got to inspecting them, I think. Maybe these weren't the super best. We want one, and this is kind of notorious of old Husky sockets, is they have just the absolute finest, super light stamping. And the stamping is a matter of fact so light that as soon as they get a little bit dirty, it's just about impossible to read. Probably about the same as the laser etching that the master mechanics themselves are using. Of course, these are older, so they don't have any fluting. But one thing I was really looking at here is I was kind of noticing that they are definitely thin wall sockets but maybe the walls are just a little thinner than I would like to tell you the truth popped off the 13 16s here one thing I was noticing is they're definitely not the hardest maybe somebody use this on an impact but a little bit of rounding on the drive side but if I put these against here against the master mechanic it's kind of hard to see but there is actually yeah probably about ten thousandths or something Master mechanics are just a little bit thicker. Of course, they're more modern, so they're fluted on both the drive, driven and drive ends. And they have this little thing where they're kind of tapered at the back, and that's just depends on the manufacturer. So anyway, as far as the old Husky sockets, I think as far as old American-made Husky tools, which I think it was back in the 90s was the last of the American-made Husky stuff, and there was some, you know, a trickling amount at Home Depot. I remember in the mid 2000s about a nice set of Husky half inch drive impact sockets and they I still have them they're still really nice but they were Taiwanese and that I bought those probably 15 years ago so I know it was uh, you know basically the 90s or very early 2000s that they stopped making the American made stuff and then slowly their stock trickled away but as far as all the Husky American made tools I think the sockets are the ones that were they're just okay. They're kind of like, I would say, you know, about the same maybe as Stanley's or basically any other kind of more commercial grade stocket. I wouldn't consider them to be like Blackhawks or SK Snap On or any of the Mac, any of those other more premium brands. It'd be even tough to see it's to say that they were better than old school uh, Craftsman's, to tell you the truth. I have a one and an eighth old school American made Craftsman here. And I think these craftsmen's were still better than old school huskies, to tell you the truth. Just to really kind of look at them. Just a little bit nicer chrome plating on the craftsmen's. The craftsmen's also had really light stamping, but not quite as light as the huskies. We can see on this inch one here that it's just about, just a little bit of wear on the socket. And it's just about impossible to read. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to figure out where it says one. There's the one inch right there. And that's kind of what made me annoyed. So I initially got these, was kind of stoked, and was going to actually use them, swap out my True Value Master Mechanic ones. But as I started to take a closer look at them, I thought, these old Huskies just aren't super great. I mean, right here I have a 1 and a 16th inch old Proto. And, you know, the old Proto sockets are really pretty solid. As far as old school sockets, um, I'm always stoked to run into some Protos, to tell you the truth. So they're certainly not Protos. They definitely have pretty thin walls, but it was kind of interesting to see them. And the fact that they're six point. It always seems that when you get in the half inch drive sockets, a lot of people will notice this too until recently like the Harbor Freight Icons um, started having their six point half inch drive sockets pretty much all the sets I mean people know that when you just get chrome socket sets it always seemed to be that they were 12 points and half inch drive just because you get 
you can move a wrench you know it's easier to get the socket on and off the fastener and when you get in the half inch drive size fasteners uh, it's less of an issue to have a 12 point socket just because there's just a lot more uh, surface area that you're working with so it's just kind of neat to see uh, a set of old six point Husky USA's and you know I think they were okay but they're nothing to really write home about and uh, I'll probably end up just keeping these as spares in case I you know split or break any of these master mechanic ones I'll swap them out with one of these old huskies but I don't think I'm actually gonna swap them out as my main set just because these master mechanics are still uh, fluted they still are, are halfway decent sockets and I just don't see the huskies being really a significant quote-unquote upgrade in quality even though they're the old American made ones so anyway, I just wanted to share that with you all. Really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out. Did want to add this on the end before so many comments. Yes, my the six point set only starts at seven sixteenths. So I will be pinching this three eighths six point half inch drive socket to add to my strip here so it's just a little bit more complete. Anyway, see you next video.